Now, the WGAL News 8 Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Ethan Houston. It's been a gloomy day out there across the Susquehanna Valley, but for the most part, it has been dry and temperatures have been pretty close to seasonal averages. We're going to keep this chill around for the next few days. We even have the chance for some passing rain or snow showers late tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. Starting to see the clouds break up on our Lancaster sky cam at the twilight dwindling as we look off to the east right now. 45 degrees feels like it's 41 thanks to that late breeze out of the northwest. Live local eight radar picking up on a little bit of some moisture in parts of Adams and York County, but the what you're seeing here on the radar is likely not reaching the ground. Just perhaps a few sprinkles out there in a few locations. Skies are starting to clear over southern Ohio. That will happen here across the Susquehanna Valley later tonight. So mostly cloudy, some spotty sprinkles, seasonally cooler with temperatures near 40 by the time we get to the 11 o'clock newscast. Lows tonight will be in the low to mid 30s with partly cloudy skies. And then for your Tuesday, we're going to start the day off dry. Clouds will thicken up and be prepared by tomorrow evening after sunset for a few passing rain or snow showers. But with temperatures in the 40s, even if you do see some flakes coming down, it's likely not going to stick or cause some impacts, but definitely bundle up. It is going to be chilly out there for the Steelton tree lighting ceremony tomorrow evening with temperatures in the 30s once we head past sunset. Overall chances for the precipitation are quite low, but they're out there and may linger into the early morning rush hour Wednesday. Right now, winds are relatively light, but they're coming down from the northwest, bringing in that chill. It's 45 currently in Lancaster, 44 in Landisburg, 45 also if you're watching us in York where the air is coming from. Temperatures are in the 30s up along the Great Lakes, so not a drastic drop in temperatures, but certainly keeping that seasonal chill around. So here's the first storm that's going to push by to our south later tonight. Here's our second storm. It's going to be deflected for the most part by that ridge of high pressure building over southern Canada, but it's going to graze us going through tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. So here we go hour by hour on the predictor. Notice as we head through the night, we get some breaks in the clouds. May see some sunshine first thing in the morning before the clouds start thickening up after the morning rush. There you can see the rain and snow off to our west, but the storm is losing strength the farther east it goes, and we have pretty dry air overhead. So some spotty rain or snow showers off to our west during the evening commute. Some of those will sneak into the valley later tomorrow evening into tomorrow night. Then the skies will start to clear, but it is going to be a blustery day on Wednesday, and we'll keep that chill around. Here's a look at the predictor in terms of snowfall. If you are traveling over the mountains back over Maryland and West Virginia, there could be some accumulating snow also along the I-99 corridor and north of I-80. For us here in the Susquehanna Valley, perhaps some high elevations of areas northwest of Harrisburg and possibly over South Mountain could get a light coating elsewhere. Just going to make the ground wet if we see those flakes flying. We'll start to see more sunshine and temperatures rise back into the lower 50s by Friday. Next best chance for widespread precipitation will hold off until Sunday.